Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. It's been a while since we showcased a polisher on the channel, so we're going to have two back-to-back -back for you here. The first one here is a Torque 15 DA 15mm long throw random orbital polisher coming in at $229.99 on the Chemical Guys site. Pay that up front, or you can actually break it down into four payments using Sezzle. $1,800. 5500 orbits per minute 900 watts and it has the digital interface you could see how it changed throughout the years very little difference uh, a very tough build for these polishers i've had two for quite some time they've been through the ringer and they are still going strong i wish they had a grip right here on the handle but otherwise there's a rubber uh, platypus handle up front the typical 16 inches long when it comes to dimensions a little over 79 mils at the widest portion of the polisher. These dimensions are important depending on what you choose a polisher to do, what task you'll be using them for, where you need to squeeze them in. From the top of the polisher down to the bottom of the backing plate, we have 131 mils. That's typical of a polisher this size, coming in at just under six pounds. The external casing is built thick and tough. When it comes to the internals, we will break it down a bit and take a peek inside. No need for a washer mod, guys. Plenty of room between the backing plate and the shroud. And the backing plate throughout the whole unit actually has plenty of good airflow. The shroud itself, the unit pulls air in through the handle with the directional fan inside that we will see when we take it apart. And it forces that out the front of the unit. It does have a ridge so you could set it on its back, will not tip over to the side and expose your pads to the floor. The electronic interface has a new look with the wide view display, but the functions are pretty much all the same. You have the power switch up top, speed buttons plus and minus down below. Perfectly balanced, and we'll talk about vibration and sound a little bit later. When I first purchased these, I often wondered about the electronic interface and if it would give me problems, and so far, so good. We have the typical junior service plastic wrapped cord. I wish it was rubber. It would be, you know, a little bit softer, easier to manage, and it would stick up on your shoulder with the rubber cord. Uh, this plastic one just slides right off. All right, so let's start to break this down a little bit, have a closer look, and we could take one of the hex side bolts out and insert a polisher handle, depending on what you're using it for. If you're using it on boats or larger uh, vehicles with huge panels, like maybe a box truck, this handle may come into use for you guys. Uh, if not, just keep it off. We'll take off the backing plate now and we can see the counterbalance and start to take off the shroud and break it down into the gearbox. Unboxing the unit, as you saw at the beginning of the video, comes with the Allen key here. Also comes with that handle, backing plate, and instructions. Also comes with an extra set of brushes. That's all standard. The unit comes with a one-year warranty. That has always bothered me, no matter what polisher it is. With the money you're paying to purchase some of these polishers, guys, and who buys it just to use for a year? These are to be used and uh, used hard for years to come, and just a one-year warranty has always rubbed me the wrong way. As we open up the gearbox, that'll expose and pull away the ring gear from the pinion gear, and you'll see the bog standard factory grease that will be removed and repacked by yours truly with my favorite Wolf's Head high temp gear grease. You don't really need Wolf's Head, any lithium will do. As we open up the brain side of the polisher, so to speak, we'll see nice, clean wire management. You'll see the bog standard 8 amp switch. The control unit or the um, PCB is coated. I'd like to see the whole thing coated, but it's just kind of coated in sections. As you can see here, that fights off moisture and dust, really protects the unit and extends the life. We have the uh, brass uh, encasing for the brushes with 
the spring loaded tensioner. If you ever have to replace the brushes, and you will at some point, just lift and pull to the side the spring coil, lift up on the carbon brush, disconnect it at the uh, crimp spade connector, which I really wish was uh, shrink wrapped. As we come to the field windings here, and also the uh, laminations, they're nice and clean, and they are coated. Right here we can see the epoxy, which is a great sign, that hold the uh, field windings to the commutator, and that's excellent. Without that, they can vibrate loose, and you have a short within the unit. Also, sealed bearings. When we come to the field windings outside on the casing, they are coated as well, a good sign. So let's put this thing back together, and we'll show you how it performs. This paint is absolutely hammered, so you can do one-step corrections or enhancements all the way up to multi-step corrections. And when it comes to sound, we have the vac going and also the TV in the background. And I'll be quiet from here on out so you can hear the unit. Having an on-off switch instead of a trigger and also buttons instead of a speed dial may take some getting used to, but it really doesn't affect the overall um, performance of the unit. The tool itself is overall effective and can be used for just about any type of correction, really, from an enhancement to a one-step and all the way up the ladder when it comes to multi-step corrections. If you're browsing the Chemical Guy site for uh, this polisher, you might as well take a look at this. If you're mobile, this is appealing. It's a really neat bag. Right inside the lid, you have compartments, compartments on the front, back, and sides. It has a shelf, and it also has pouches to hold your polishes and compounds. The really neat feature about this is the little compartment they have in the back where you can slide in your polisher and keep it separate from the rest of the cargo. If uh, a sealant or a polish or a compound leaks, it keeps your polisher protected. Really neat. All right, guys, that'll bring us to the final thought segment of the video, the Torque 15 DA polisher. Yeah, there's going to be positives and negatives to talk about with every polisher available. When it comes to price, uh, there are better deals out there, uh, but there are a lot more expensive ones, too. So it's, it's very well priced. It's right where it should be. Uh, when it comes to the build inside, the internals have everything I'm looking for. The external is tough. The encasing is tough. They do get used hard. We have the other two, the 10FX and the 22D here, and they get used often and they're holding up quite well so far. 
So when it comes to a rating on the channel, the Torque 15 DA is going to get impressive. I'm going to put a link down below so you can uh, look more into the polisher. Don't take all your information from one source. Do your due diligence and find the best deal out there, guys. If I can help you, ask your questions down in the comment section. Catch you in the next video.